Hello and welcome to part 5 of a World of Warcraft video series guide to the Daily Garrison quest, Mastering the Menagerie. In the last episode we took on the Podlings. They were little evil jerks with their teeth and biting and beasts of the forest. But we made quick work of them by whacking those little weedlings, didn't we? Today our opponents are the Gronlings. Gromly? And Cromley. Cromley looks like a little scab beast, and Cromley sort of a scab beast that needs a tan. I don't know. Cromley looks more well done, if you ask me. Oh yeah, um, Podlings. In the last episode, I neglected to mention where to get Water Waveling. I'll just quickly show you here. You can find these in Zuldrak in Northrend. Oh, I haven't uncovered that part of the map. But just to the east of Light's Breach, you'll find this Fuel of Trolls subduing water elementals. That's where you will find one. Anyways, the pets I'm using for these guys today are Unborn Valkyr. Now, this is a rare pet that might you might have a, a bit of a hard time locating. Uh, they've got spawn points in, I guess, one spawn point per zone in Northrend, and maybe less. I found mine in Grizzly Hills, let's see, I think up around here where there's stairs up to Zuldrak are found. Uh, you might have to go to a third party website or information thing to find out exactly where to find one. Ghostly Skull? is the second one I've chosen. You can buy these actually in Dalaran sewers. Uh, from the arena just go northeast to the little hallway at the end and just make your way there. It's pretty easy to find and you know what you can pick up three if you want not just one. Uh, it's the guy on the right he sells all manner of crazy stuff but what you're after is the ghostly skull which is 50 to 40 gold each depending on your reputation. And last pet I've chosen is Voodoo Figurine. Uh, you can get this with Archaeology. I think you can get it right away, uh, d no matter what your Archaeology skill is. Uh, best continent to do this is on the Eastern Kingdoms, where there are, I think, a, l a lot of troll fragments, so you can get that done pretty quickly. Or you can just stick around in Draenor or Pandaria and get troll fragments for archaeology fragments and do it that way. Uh, the abilities I've gone with are Shadow Shock, Curse of Doom, and Unholy Ascension for Unborn Valkyr. Ghostly Skull is going to be using Shadow Slash and Ghostly Bite. Now you could use Death Coil and Siphon Life, but I chose in these two because they do more damage and I just want to get these guys down quick. And Voodoo Figurine is going to do Shadow Slash and Wild Magic. Last ability doesn't really matter because if you choose Rot, well that's going to make these guys undead and your ability is not do as much damage. And Seer Magic, you don't really have any buffs or debuffs to worry about in these two. Anyways, let's get started. Starting off is Cromley. He's gonna start things off with Rupture. That has a chance to stun, and I think it deals a moderate to high amount of damage. Yeah, then he will cast Dreadful Breath, I think. Which is almost guaranteed. Watch. There you go, Rupture. Didn't stun, which is a good thing. And he's going to do Dreadful Breath next. Now I'm going to wait a sec here before uh, doing my next move. Sometimes I would start with Curse of Doom. And then hit Shadow Shock until Curse of Doom has one round before it hits. And then use Hol Unholy Ascension. But I've found that it is viable. Oh. Actually, it's better to get in some Shadow Shocks first before throwing down Curse of Doom because that gets Cromley closer to dead. 
So you can use Shadow Shock once or twice. I'm going to go with twice here before actually applying Curse of Doom. Now he's going to do what is Shadow Breath? Dreadful Breath for another two or three turns. And I'm going to spam Shadow Shock until there's one more round until Curse of Doom hits. Or until Unborn Valkyrie has one round left. There you go. When Unborn Valkyrie resurrects the first time, that's when you want to use uh, Unholy Ascension because that's, well, you don't have any other moves left after that. It's going to die. And with Unholy Ascension up, it carries over to the next pet, Gromley. So that takes care of him, Unborn Valkyrie, and we've got two pets, almost at full health, to take on Gromley. Now Gromley has almost the same abilities. Oh yeah, Gromley's basic ability is punch, just a humanoid attack for a small amount of damage. Gromley's punch is crush. Uh, pretty much the same thing. Stone skin pretty much gets you a free turn. Because the amount of damage it reduces is pretty much nothing because of all the buff to damage you will be doing. And his heart hating ability is Haymaker. I uh, kind of like this one. Let me check the cooldown. Three round cooldown, nice. It's got a three round cooldown, so it's not too bad to get hit by it, since you won't get hit by it again in a while. And if he misses, you get a free turn. See, isn't that nice? Ghostly Skull is usually enough to take out Gromley. You just want to hit Shadow Stash until he's low enough to get one shot by Ghostly Bites. And I think this is good enough. I'll see if that does it. There's Crush. Ghostly Bite. And I'm a winner. Good work. I didn't even need Voodoo figurine. That was pretty easy. Now I'm going to look for another set of three pets, maybe two, depending on how easy it is, to do another try at these guys. Okay, be right back in a second. Okay, we're back. I've got three new pets, two really, to take on a Gromley and Gromley a second time. I haven't switched that Gold Sea Skull because it's, it's so easy to get that I'm just going to assume you have one. So he's going to stay in here. Uh, I'm going to start out with him using Shadow Slash and uh, Unholy Ascension. I'm going to hold off on Ghostly Bite because I could lose a turn. That might be kind of important to need. Second in lineup is Blight Hawk. I'll be using Infected Claw and Ghostly Bite just as Ghostly Skull was using in round two of the first attempt at these guys. Oh yeah, you can find this guy in oh, Western Plague Lands. Where did I... Let me see if I can remember if I look for it. Where to get one. Lighthawk. Actually, maybe in Anderhal. I think so. If not there, then... Maybe around here, I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. And the last pet I've chosen, in case I need one, is Fossilized Hatchling. You can get this from Fossil Archaeology. Now, probably Eastern Kingdoms is your best pet to quickly farm Fossil Archaeology Fragments. Or you can just stick around in Pandaria or Draenor and turn in those fragments for fossil ones. Now I'm just going to be spamming bone bite to finish off whoever's left. Hey now, let's see if this is doable. Now pretty much I'm going to do the same thing I did with the first lineup. I don't have curse of doom, so that might hurt a bit. So what I'll do is spam Shadow Slash until I've got one round left, and then hit him with an Unholy Ascension. 
so that Cromley can pretty much get one shot by the next guy. And Gromley, you'll have the debuff up for as long as I need it. Shadow Slash hits pretty hard. I mean, you look at the HP of these guys, compared to mine, and they're pretty even percentage-wise. I think this is the last round, Unholy Ascension. And Blighthawk should be able to one-shot Cromley, hopefully. Let's see if that holds true. Oh, almost. Not to worry. Now, let's see. Cromley starts out with Haymaker. He could miss. Well, if I was going first, I would use Liftoff to avoid it. But I can't. So... I'll just try Ghostly Bite. Why not? Because it's doing extra damage. Ah, there we go. Free turn. Now we both skip a turn, so it's like nothing ever happened. And we can just move on to the next one. Yeah, Infected Talons until the Ghostly Bite is up again. And that's that. Hawk resurrects for one turn. Get bitten. Take that. Ah, easier than I thought. These guys may look tough. They're big muscles and gigantic forearms. Yeah, but they're wimps. Two eyes are not better than one. You know, two, they got two eyes between them. Get it? Instead of two heads. No? Okay. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching uh, Gronlings in this episode. Next one is going to be a bunch of bugs. If you hate bugs, you're going to enjoy watching me squish the heck out of these guys. Alright, until then, I'll see you later. Be swell, stay well, farewell. <laughs>